Hi, I'm Sports Illustrated model Hunter McGrady. There are beautiful women of all shapes and sizes, and that is what needs to be promoted. Hey guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to Pretty Unfiltered. I am so excited. Today's guest is Hunter McGrady, Sports Illustrated swimsuit Hi. model. Honestly, when you walked in, I was like, oh, we're gonna get along real well. I love it. Because you're just you're so chill. Sweet. Girl, you know, you have to be laid back and chill in this business. Exactly, exactly. So let's talk a little bit about you. I wanna get to know you on a personal level. For those of you that don't know, you grew up being a model. I did, yes. I started modeling um, when I was 16 years old. I was a size two when I started, and now I'm a size 16. My mom was a model, my grandmother, my aunt, my dad is an actor, so I kind of grew up in this industry, and it was kind of like, I was just destined to do it, I yeah. think. So when you were 16 and you were a size two and you were modeling, I, I watched you talk about how you were told that you were too big yeah. for, at a casting call, and yeah. they sent you home. At a size two. That's unbelievable to me. So I guess like, how did you get to a point where you learn to love your body? Well, you know what, it's a mindset. It's you can have all the surgeries in the world, you can lose all the weight in the world, you can gain all the weight in the world, whatever, but it's a mindset of making that switch of, you know what, I'm gonna do this for me. This is what I need for myself. Mm -hmm. um, when I was 16 and I got sent home, I was so upset because, I mean, I was just thinking, how many other teenagers are going through this, not on a photo shoot, but just every day feeling like they're not enough because they're not represented in the media. Totally. You know, and I was so upset and so livid. And in that moment, that kind of sparked it for me where I was like, you know, I'm not going to live my life this way. I kind of went on this whole, you know, rant of I'm done with mm -hmm. this. Um, then I nannied for four years. And then four years ago, I found out about plus size modeling and uh, it kind of changed everything. I saw um, a cover of Vogue Italia uh, with three uh, curvy girls on it. Two of them are now my really good friends. Mm -hmm. And um, I just remember seeing that and thinking, oh my God, these girls are gorgeous. They're on Vogue Italia and I can resonate with them. And I think, you know, my body looks like their body. How does it feel though to be told that you are one of the most curvy models to ever grace the pages of Sports Illustrated? I'm sure that there's probably a lot of emotions that come with that. I'm so proud of it. I mean, it's so needed. This conversation of um, body diversity and curves and women in all different sizes and colors and shape and, that's the conversation that we've been needing to have for so long. Uh, yes. And the fact that we're having it now in that Sports Illustrated, which is considered like the sexiest magazine, totally. is on board and they're kind of like the pioneers that, that are kind of pushing this forward. You know, they had Ashley Graham on the cover last yep. year. They have me in the magazine this year. And you know, they're kind of really starting a huge revolution. And I'm just They have so proud Hunter on the cover next year. We're yeah. just like gonna put that into the world. Yes, put it into the world. <laughs> see, let's see. If it'll happen. But you know, I, I do want to talk about this because this is such an interesting conversation to me. The term, there's plus size and then curve, yes. right? The language is changing. I know that you and Ashley personally like, dislike the word plus size, or yeah. I've read that at least. Mm -hmm. So can you explain to people how they should be referring to models? Just like you said, models. I would love to just be called a model. I think that labeling plus size, curve, Full figure, whatever it is, I understand that peop some people need that clarification. Okay. But for me, I'm like, I'm just a model. Yeah. You know, I, do, I show up, I do the same job as everyone else, I get paid the same, everything is the same. So you wouldn't say, oh, size zero model, you know, so and so. Exactly. That'd be like, you'd be like, what? That's so weird. What clothing size is a curved model considered? And do you think that reflects women who are actually plus size? Well, so this is interesting. A size six in New York on a modeling board would be considered plus size. Wow. 14 is really what works mm -hmm. um, in the plus size industry, 14, 16. But it starts at a size six. I mean, that's, that's like crazy. insane. 67% of the women in America are a size 14 or above. That's 17% more than half of the population. Yeah, wow. So. Why is it just now becoming like a big thing? Do you think that there's a certain expectation put on curvier models to look a certain way? I think there is. Um, 
in some ways and then in the other ways I think people think that we can get away with looking however we want they're like whatever she's a curve model she can she doesn't have to work out she doesn't have to eat well which is not true I mean yeah. I have a personal trainer I eat clean but on the other spectrum is there is a, a you know pressure to to look you know, have the right Coke bottle body and be really mm -hmm. tight. Mm -hmm. And someone's always gonna want you to be thicker. They're gonna want you to be thinner. They're gonna want you to be tall, short, your hair like this, your hair like that. And it's like, you can't live your life like that. No. I love to like, sometimes publications will be like, real girls and their bodies. And I'm like, as opposed to- Fake girls? Yeah, like, like everybody you see where? on the magazines are also <laughs> real people. Sure, I and I get it. There's a lot of Photoshop that happens too. Yes. I totally understand like where they come from in that aspect, but I'm like, like, we're all real women people yeah. like we exist so I know I'm sure you've gotten a lot of people come up to you and say like you've inspired me on yes. so many levels which is awesome is there a story that sticks out to you that really made an impact when you heard it I had a young girl come up to me she was with her boyfriend and she was like in tears and she was like almost shaky and she was like I just want to tell you like you know, I followed you and Ashley Graham for the past like three years and you guys have helped me overcome my eating disorder. And I, I can't even tell you, like I, you have impacted my life in so many more ways than one because I was able to look at you being beautiful and owning your skin, stretch marks, cellulite, rolls, whatever it is, and all your glory. And I looked at that and thought, if she can do it, why can't I do it? Wow. And I was like, you know what, that is the best compliment I could ever receive, you know, above anything else. If it, you know, I don't care how many, you look high, you're so sexy in this, that is a compliment. I'm like, I love that. Exactly. That's what I, w I will hold on to forever. And I get that, you know, in my Instagram box and Twitter and all these things. And it's like, that's why I do what I do. It's the positive impact. I love that. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Do you think there are any brands or maybe publications that are doing a really good job of being inclusive of body diversity? You know what? I think a lot of people are getting on board because they're seeing the need for it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, why wouldn't you? Well, even the consumer, too. It's like, yeah. if you're not catering to what the people want, why you're going to be you? yesterday's news. Yeah. Exactly. Michael Kors just walked Ashley Graham down the runway, which was the first ever for him. Prabal Garang just came out with an amazing collaboration with Lane Bryant, which I've been wearing so like smart. this entire press tour. <laughs> Christian Siriano got on board with it a long time ago because he was like, you know what? I see the need. He dresses like Melissa McCarthy yep. and all the curvier girls. And it's like, they look so stunning. And then even like, you know, the size twos are looking at that saying, I want that too. And it's like that, the inclusivity is what we need. And I would love to one day walk into a store with you know my smaller girlfriends and we can all go shopping together. We can all buy the same yes. shirt. We can all buy the same dress and feel good about ourselves. Hunter, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. Thank you so much. I had so much fun with all of you. <laughs> with all of you here. Guys, let me know your favorite part of the interview in the comment section below. Subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide because we have new episodes every Wednesday, pretty unfiltered. So guest suggestions, always welcome. Topics always welcome. We like to uh, make you happy, so let me know. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kirby Johnson. I post behind the scenes stuff. I'm really weird. I have lots, I, apparently we are very similar no, and I love it. weird on social media. So. I love being a weirdo. And then Hunter, it's just Hunter McGrady everything, yep, right? at Hunter McGrady on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Ooh, and Snapchat. Yeah, All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.